today we're going to be unpacking and setting up a Ferrofocus S150. As you can see, the complete kit that has arrived has got the S150 scanner, two batteries, the charging kit, and an extra SD card. The bottom of the scanner has got a quick release on it which will then be inserted into the top of the tripod that also comes with the kit. We remove the scanner, both hands from the case, and we're gonna sit it directly into the quick release on the tripod and Remove the protective foam from the mirror. We're going to put our battery in the scanner. It should be able to turn freely because we have not tightened this bolt here. Right underneath, we've got a little button we're going to pull and we're going to put our battery in. Contacts on the bottom. Should slide in easily and click. We also have our SD card already in the scanner. When you get a shipment from Atlantic Laser, you're going to have a fully formatted SD card already present in the scanner. A backup SD card is in the case. Then we're ready to go. We'll just go ahead and start the scanner up and then go through the process of giving our project a name and telling the scanner whether we're going to be indoors or outdoors. Now that our scanner is booted up, there's only two things that we really need to do. Number one, we need to give the project a name. And number two, we need to tell the scanner where it's going to be scanning. If it's going to be scanning where we need a long distance or we need a shorter distance. Those are all programmed into the scanner. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, we want to make sure that the scanner opening page says Faro on it. Now, if we page to the left, you're going to see a screen that's saying that it's a on-site registration mode. This is not where we want to be. We just simply move it over to the right, and now we've got the proper opening page for the scanner. That being said, we can go down into Manage. Once we're in Manage, we've got a lot of options. We're going to go to Projects and Clusters, the very first option. And we're going to the bottom left hand corner, we're going to add a project name. And we're just going to select it. And we're going to go to the top option, which is cluster name. We're just going to touch it. And it's going to give us an opportunity to give this project a name. So generally you don't want to start, a lot of the scanners won't allow you to begin with a, a number. So we're just going to just put in it's a test okay and we can back up and see that the, pro the cluster name is test now upper right hand corner we've got an, a home icon we'll go back to that we can go back into manage now the second from the top is called profiles we'll select that now you see a lot of different options on here, and this is something you can scroll with your hand, just run it down. We provide scanners with pre-programmed settings. As you can see, ALSS, Atlantic Laser Scanning, Outdoor Setting, or ALSS, Indoor Setting. So if we select the Indoor Setting, and then touch it again, we're going to allow that to pop up and we can go to the resolution and quantity just to see exactly what we've chosen. For our indoor setting, it's 1 8 3x. It's about 11 million points per scan. With the color or the camera taking pictures, you're looking at maybe three and a half, four minutes per scan. This is something if you're going to scan inside of rooms uh, up to just maybe a normal conference room size. If you get into a larger, larger space, then maybe you would go to a one-fifth. 
but in general, you can get by with just a simple indoor setting if you're going to be scanning indoors using one of our scanners. Now, if we were to back up to, scroll back down to an outdoor setting, we can take a quick look at what that is. We've got about 44 million points and 3X. In general, large rooms or outdoor scans can use this setting. We try to keep it as simple as possible. Your scanner is going to arrive to you formatted with an outdoor setting. If you give your project a name and forget this portion, you're going to be on an outdoor setting from our, our warehouse just in general. Once that's finished, we can go back to the home page. And as, again, as long as Faro is showing on your screen, you're ready to go. All you have to do is push the large blue play button and that's it.